we could not have claimed to know what was in our own solar system until Voyager conducted its tour, its Homeric odyssey across the outer solar system. People often uh, describe it as one of mankind's greatest journeys. It is certainly the farthest <laughs> and the longest. Voyager was originally conceived as uh, a tour of all the giant planets because all the giant planets were aligned in 1977 and you could go from one to the other. And that alignment was very rare. That alignment happens once every 176 years. Uh, it ended up that Congress only approved the mission to Jupiter and Saturn. But the engineers and the scientists were very um, ingenious and they designed and built the instruments to endure the flights to Uranus and Neptune just on the off chance that the mission would be approved for that long and that's what happened. And it's remarkable to remember what we did not know about our own solar system. We knew nothing about the structure in Saturn's rings. We knew very little about its atmosphere. Neptune is 30 times farther away from the sun than the Earth is. And even in the most powerful telescopes at the time was just a, a small dot of blue. It's famous picture, the pale blue dot of Earth, right before it departed and went on its way outside uh, beyond the planets. Now we are truly an interstellar species. It is for all these reasons that I think it's fair to say that Voyager is the Apollo 11 of the planetary program. You've said in the past that planetary exploration is about understanding our own significance of our existence. What have you learned as a planetary scientist on some of the biggest missions uh, about our own existence? After having been part of Voyager, which was the most historic mission of all, there is no other planet in our solar system like our Earth. We, we are part of it. We are made from the same cloth. Our, our planet and us are one and the same in some sense, and we, uh, we, we need to do a better job of protecting it. And that, to me, is the lesson of planetary exploration. Carl Sagan famously said that we were the first generation that really had a chance of answering that question, is there life elsewhere? Well now, after Voyager and after Cassini, we really, really, two reallys, have a chance of answering that question. And so that's what I'm left with. I'm left with this urge to find out has life arisen elsewhere in our solar system because we could really ask that question now and come away with an answer. And this is the, you know, the 40th anniversary of the mission. So what do you see the future of the Voyager mission being? There's two of them, and they'll probably wink out at about the same time. It will be a very sad moment when that happens, but the Voyagers are now on their own. They will orbit the galaxy. They may be what outlasts us uh, in, in the future. Mm -hmm.